All right, let's let's begin. Welcome to my time slot. This time slot, um, I'm going to share how I reflect. Um, never, ever, in um, what we do as Jedi, will I ever preach or teach or share that there's only one way to do anything. On the contrary, that's the opposite of what I believe and, and what a lot of us share with as the ideas of, of what we have. There's there's never solely just one way to do something. So it, with, with that in mind, this is not a definitive way of reflection. This, this is just how I do it. It's in the hope that if by hearing out loud some of the, the, the paths that I've um, gone through some of the ideas that I've had, some of the time that I've taken, if that can help someone else out, and I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So if if we can share understanding, then I'll, I'll be counted in that boat any day with, with you know, my fellow Jedi. So with that in mind, um, let's see. Let, let's let's get to it. Okay. There there is no one brand of reflection. There are many different ways to reflect. Um, there are dynasties of people who have figured out different ways, different ideas, uh, different forms. There, there's reflection in, in, in different levels of our lives and in different paths of our relationships. There, there, there are many different ways to reflect. Now, there are many different brands of love. There are many different brands of pardon. There are many different brands of faith. There are many different brands of hope. There are many different brands of light as there are many different brands of joy. I want to share how I got where I got, I guess, if, if that makes any sense. It's up to us how we choose and what methods we choose to reflect. It's, it's, it really is. Um, and, and like I said, there are a lot of methods out there. This is not one, one method to rule them all. Um, it, it, that's, that's not the idea. So if I'm, I'm putting it out there that I'm going to make myself a little vulnerable and I'm going to share with y'all, if you don't mind, um, some of the questions that I asked myself, um, some of the things that I, um, went through to be able to get to places in my path where, where I'm standing today. So if, if that helps someone else out, then I, I would, I'd do it again. So here we go reflection is key to a lot of things that we do especially jedi there's an idea that self-reflection is key self-reflection is the process in which we can communicate internally with oneself there's a reason why we 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 recommend reflection and, and we recommend it often um that's where we find ourselves. That's where we find where, how we behave, how we identify. That, that's where we're at is when we reflect. The, the, the one that is doing the reflection, the one, the one that is asking the questions. Self-reflection is a step back that we can all take at some times that we need. It's that space that we give ourselves. So there are lots of benefits. There are many benefits from reflection and reflection is very much something that people need it's very much something a human being needs when i started to reflect i was in my late 30s i felt like i was behind with my own life because I had never asked myself certain questions and I had never really realized some of the things on my own. What happens when we learn things and when we study is we find out that there are things out there in the world and in our paths. Uh, Jiddu Krishnamurti uh, uses the example of the, the way that he says it is we're spoon fed. There's nothing wrong with the information that we first get when we grow up, when we start our paths, when, when we realize that, that we're on a, a reflective path, that we start something new, that everything is given to us. 
that doesn't make the information wrong. That doesn't make everything, you know, the, a negative connotation. That just means that it gives us the ability to find out, to prove it, to to um, to reflect and 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 to and to and to give it the proper time. So when when we reflect, we get to take some time to give certain questions, certain paths, certain ideas, the proper time and place. And some of the questions are, are important to ask. Some reflection is very important. The big question that we all share and that we know is who am I? That's the big one that we all know. And it takes, so you've heard the stories, the cartoons, the the, the people, the the, the reports, the, the, the other the people who have done it. It's some, sometimes it takes years almost lifetimes to figure out who you are. It's one of those questions that just, it, it takes time to, it, if you give it time, it'll take its time and it'll reveal itself in time. So these are the questions that we can use when we reflect. Who am I? What of others? What are you gonna do when you figure out who you are and then what are you going to do with the rest of the 8 million billion people next to you? How, how are you going to act? You know, how, how are you going to present what you have on the inside with the rest of the people on the outside? Where does our zeal on the inside, where does that manifest? What direction does it go? What kicks it off? What lights does our zeal? Because when it's lit, it's kind of hard to stop. One of the things, one of the questions that I get a lot as pastor are reflection questions of how do I reflect and how, how do I start? And there's there's really, as, as we do what we do, there's really, you, you can't tell someone what to reflect. You, you can't tell someone what they need. You can't tell somebody, you can't lead them by the hand. You can help people um, realize certain things in their lives. You can, you can um, give people advice all day long. You can even give them myths and stories and movies and you can give them books. But until something on the inside makes the connection, until inside me, it was, it mattered then it mattered. Then, then the reflection started to change some of my life, some of the way that I thought, some of the things that I was doing, some of my relationships began to be affected. So reflection is important because it gives you the opportunity and it gave me the opportunity to step through the threshold of my own life. It helped me to realize what characters were being presented in my own story. I guess you could say one of the things was I found my Yodas. I found my mentors. And that's one of the things that I want to share with the group today is one of the things I reflected on was my mentors. And one of the things that the Jedi world, uh, uh, it doesn't, it highlights is Yoda and Obi-Wan and the person hiding or seems to be hiding, but they're in plain view. Life sometimes happens that way where we have people and teachers in our lives who they're right there. They're, they're right in front of us. They've been there the whole time. And in, in reality, in, in the ordinary world, these, these mentors are waiting for us to reach out and say, what do you know about whatever? Well, let me tell you, finding the right mentor is a gift. Understanding the gift of a mentor is a gift. Understanding what mentors do for us as human beings, mentors are everywhere. They are in every level of life. They are in every mode of everything we do. It is a human being to mentor another human being. You cannot stop one human being from talking, sharing, 
with another human being. If you tell one human being not to talk to one human being, there will create somehow or another, we will find a way to make communication. We will find a way to share. We'll write it down somewhere. We'll write it in the sky. We'll write it in a song. We'll figure it out one way or another, but we will share. And it's through those reflections that as I reflected, I found that there were some individuals in my path who were just a little bit different than everybody else. And this is the part where I want to talk to everybody because those mentors, look, they're in plain view, but there is something different about mentors. Okay. This is how I reflected. When I saw Yoda acting silly and goofy and poking and, and, and kind of pushing Luke the first time I, I, I actually had the brain connection between uh, the, the mentor and Yoda. And that, that's what he means. He was being silly. He was being kind of pushy a little bit. He was being kind of, he was testing Luke to see what, what, what he, he knew that Luke was born. He knew Luke's past. Technically, he was a guardian, keeping track of Luke, keeping track of the children. Our mentors are usually, in the ordinary world, there before we were born. Does that make any sense? They have a bit of our past that we're missing. And it comes in different, it comes in different levels. Remember I said, and this is different levels. The mentors come in different levels because if it's for work, they have the past of knowing what to do and how to do it. If it's a family mentor, they have time that you're missing, connections that you're missing. If it's spiritual, they have spiritual connections that are just waiting for you. This is one of the goals of a mentor. But you got to understand where they're at. They look just like everyone else. There are some differences, though. And it takes the reflection to understand it. Because sometimes we, we just don't catch it. Because they look like everybody else. There goes a silly old man. There goes a silly old lady. There goes some silly person just talking. And it's, it's through reflection that we can find that there is a difference. Now, me growing up. I reflected on the people in my life and I realized that there were people who tried to keep me out of trouble. There were literally people who tried to keep me out of trouble. There was um, my mother, uh, my pastor growing up and um, my grandmother. I was at odds with them growing up. I grew up on the street, so I didn't grow up very good or respectful. I didn't have too many rules that made any sense. They, it was just a, a made up world that we fought and we got in trouble and we hustled and we did what we did. But reflecting and understanding things, I had to do some hard reflection because as soon as I started reflecting about me growing up, I got pissed. I was mad. I sat in a seat that was pissed at everything I reflected off because I found out that people who were supposed to teach me didn't teach me, didn't care. They were afraid of me. I found out that people who were supposed to love me didn't love me. I found out that all these things that I thought that were supposed to happen didn't happen, that all these people, and I sat in a seat called the seat of the scornful, and I was pissed, and I couldn't do anything. Talk about forgiveness, it wasn't there. And I started to reflect and it started to piss me off. Well, why the hell should I reflect if all I'm going to see is the negative? One of the things that gets me past that seat, because there's more, there's more to reflection than just noticing these things. There's no more to, to, to reflection than just noticing that there's these people who are here and this, the, you went through these things and there, there can be a little bit more. You can introduce yourself to your mentors. You can reintroduce yourself to your mentors. I had a mentor growing up. His name was Mr. Philip. He was an odd guy. He was the head artist of the um, newspaper, the San Antonio newspaper there. And he would tell his stories to the children in sketches. He kept us all just like, wow. And when he drew Daniel in the lion's den, you understand that Daniel was sitting there with a rock and a staff and he, he was big and you wanted to be Daniel the way Mr. Philip drew Daniel in the lion's den. Sorry. You didn't want to be in the lion's den, you know, the way that he drew the lions. 
he used what he had to the best of his ability and to the best of what his dedication was. And it took me a long time to realize and to get out of the chair that Mr. Philip was a jerk to me all the time. He always tried to catch me doing the wrong thing. And that's because I was doing the wrong thing. That's why he caught me all the time. Half of the time, I realized that he did not catch me intentionally. If it wasn't for his grace, some days I'd have got in trouble. But Mr. Philip decided to give a little grace and to try. And directly, it didn't work. Directly, our conversations, our time together, our reflection time was objective. I was objective. I, I didn't, I was young. I'd rather go somewhere else. I'd rather not sit down and talk to a person. And it wasn't until later on that I realized that I got out of that seat and I realized what he was trying to do. And I realized that there was more people in my life that were trying to do the exact same thing. They were saying it differently and they were saying it in different levels, but they were there. And when I began to reflect and notice where my Yodas and my Obi-Wans were, that they were really there, it changed the way that I started thinking. I started to pay attention just a little bit more. Now, what happens when you actually find, you reflect and you come to a realization that these people are there. Well, I, I just went to go talk to them. I'm from very primitive culture. Oh, I'm gonna lose my laptop here. Two seconds. Cool, plugged in, okay. I'm from a very primitive culture to where if we want to know something from our past, we directly have contact with the people. We go directly to our past. We go directly where um, we go to our grandfather. We go to our, our grandparents. We go to our great grandparents. Uh, we sit and it's, this is the way that, that our culture practices. Excuse me. Um, the, the ability to have such a freedom to be able to connect with your mentors is a gift. What we do at the temple is we, we, we give that picture. We use that, that scale. We use that, that ability that we do anyway. We do it anyway with one another. But what we do it here is we give it the picture. We give it the place to flourish. We, we, uh, we, we have training masters who share the, their Jedi path with their people and, 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 and their time, and they take the time to, to aid one another to, hey, here are some common things that we all share. Here are some common pitfalls that we all share. Here's, here's how I did it. Reflection is an amazing thing because anyone can do it. Anything that I have ever done, anything that I have ever found out, anything that I have ever accomplished, or was able to do is because I'm a human being and because someone else has done it. There's a human potential in every single one of us and it dwells in us equally. And we have the opportunity every day to take that potential, potential and do something with it. Now, here's the kicker. When I reflected and I started thinking a little bit more, I found people who were trying to pull that out. There were people who were trying to polish that. There were people who were trying to cultivate that very thing in my life. And as I started to reflect, the reflection changes. I'm no longer pissed off. I'm no longer upset. Yeah, it, it upsets me a little bit now. But the thing is, keep in mind that once you get over the upset, then you get to find out certain things. How I reflect. My parents weren't very good. I was left to the streets to grow up. I got into a lot of trouble, left alone on my own. And it's taken me a lifetime and a half to undo a lot of the things that I have done that are obstacles in my life. 
know that today I'm not the same person that I, I was. And I, I don't do the same things I used to do. Understand, I don't beat people up anymore. It's not a joy for me to harm people. That's that's not who I am today. Things are different today. But growing up and reflecting, there were that's how I was brought up. I didn't know right from wrong. And I know we're all Jedi and we don't believe in, in that kind of thing. But you have to understand that I grew up not knowing right from wrong. The things that I did growing up were considered normal. And it was not normal because I took therapy. My therapist told me and my pastor told me and people told me that these things were not normal. So as I grew up and as I learned and as I, I took therapy, as, as I continued to reflect, there's an understanding that happened. And it was that I was mad at my parents when I grew up because of what happened and how it happened and where we grew up. It's awful, girl. I didn't have a childhood. I didn't get to do all these things. And I was mad. But, but, you have to understand that there is a but to this because there's more. There's so much more. I was able to realize something happened between me and my parents that I realized that how young they were when they had me and the situation that I was actually in and the, the area that I was in, they had no choice. They were given this and they created this and at some point in our relationship in my own family's relationship I had to give my parents credit and tell them you did the best you did so let me tell you it took me a lifetime and a half to get out of the hood and safely do it to safely get out of the hood and, and to move me from one spot to another it, it takes work you understand and they're still there and there was a part, there was a time in my life when I couldn't talk to them, when I didn't have them in my past. Today, I do. Today, we have a relationship. It's a different relationship, mind you. It's a different dynamic of relationship. But the, the point is that it happened, that I had to come to my own understanding that they did the best that they could. Wow. Everything else I had to let go because it, it, was, it was messing with me. It was, it was keeping me from doing things. Now I can move forward. Now I don't have to act certain ways because I have a different understanding because that's not my choice anymore. I don't have to do the things that I used to do anymore because those aren't, I didn't start any of those. None of those were mine to begin with. Savvy, they weren't my parents to begin with. They did the best that they could. So now it's my turn. And growing up, this is what happened when I started to reflect. I didn't actually start reflecting officially until I had my, uh, I think I got married to Amber, my, my current wife, Amber, this is 10 years ago. I actually stopped and looked at her and said, is this the path I want to go? That's one of the questions we can ask ourselves is the path that we're on. Ask yourself, is this the path I want to go? Is this, is, is the results of this path? Is that who I want to be? Is that who I want on my team? Are these the people I want around me? We have, it, it's, it's, you will benefit so much from asking yourself these questions. The human potential is amazing. So I'm going to take a pause here because it's a lot of information. It's a lot of feelings. It's a lot. It's vulnerable here for me because I, I let myself out a little bit and I appreciate it. Thank you for the spot. But um, I'm going to take a break here. Calm down for a little bit. And then I'm going to start. Give me like two minutes, two minutes, and I'll be right back. And then I'll start the next part of the class. Okay. Okay. You can unmute yourselves and run around the class and, you know, spit wads or whatever your kids do. <laughs> Be right back.
I blame Rosalind. I never blame Rosalind. I always blame Allie. <laughs> There's totally a page for it. <laughs> All righty. So here we go. Let's see if I can speak clearly here. This is this is the speaking session, I guess you could you could say about the today's lesson. There's a magic that's out there that's hard to describe until you do it. Self-reflection is magic, in my opinion, because it's the only way that you can validate for yourself you. I can't tell you who you are. No one can. Only you can. No one can tell you how far you'll go. Only you can. You know your limits. You set your limits. Some of your limits have been set for you. Some limits you can reset. Some things you can reset. I was as smart as a box of rocks. N not even a few years ago. You understand? I was stronger than rocks. You understand? Stronger than a box of rocks, but I was just as smart. And something happened that my wife told me I could have a book and it broke me. I have a library. You understand? I started buying books. I started keeping books. Something happened that I didn't know that you could buy a book for yourself. That was weird, but she found it and she broke it. So I am so much the better for being more literate. Now, there's a magic that's out there called a journal. The journal dates back to time when we were writing on walls. We didn't have no paper, but we were telling stories to each other and we just needed a way to save it. This is important. I think we should save it. Henceforth, ta-da, the journal. A journal is a way, I wrote this one down. Using a journal gives you the way, it gives you what you need from you for you. There's no two ways about it. No one writes in your journal, but you. Your thoughts are in your journal. So when you write things down in your journal, that's you talking to you, okay? That's a good thing. That's a good thing to practice. And there is a validation, a magic in writing things down because whether or not we're, we're being truthful or embellishing or whatever it is, just write it down. It doesn't matter. You'll figure it out later. It's you, you know what I mean? You will tell yourself what you meant later on, I guarantee it. So using a journal helps with reflection. It does. You don't need it, it's not a necessity, but it's like saying, you know, I eat my hot dogs plain. There's so much more you could add to a hot dog if you like, if you don't like, it's up to you. No one tells you you need to put mustard on your hot dogs. You know what I mean? It's all up to you, but there is such a benefit to writing things down that in my life, I am going to receive journals of my wife's grandfather from his studies in college. You understand that being passed from one person to the other is amazing. All that wisdom and knowledge. We're trying on our own to try to build the farm up and to do these kinds of things. And it just so happens that grandfather is a master tree arborist and he's been to college. And oh, by the way, here's my stuff that I've learned over the years. And we get it. We get it just like that. And it, we were plugged into our past just like that. That's the idea. One of the ideas of the hero's journey is to identify, to help you identify some of the things that you've already gone through. You may not know it yet, but you've been through several pits. You've been through several things, several, several times in your life you've you've accomplished these things some of them you haven't gone through them yet and you haven't gotten out of it some things you know the, the idea is for reflection and identification so 
what type of notes do you pass to yourself? What are you telling yourself? Okay. This is a big question here in reflection. What are you telling yourself? When you write down stuff in the journal today, I felt like this today. I felt like crap today. I feel like a million dollars today. I, I think about this. It, it matters the form of your journal. Okay. If you want to, all of this depends on your level of wanting to participate as is life. If you want to take life to its fullest and be fully present, then by all means, you are able to take that liberty and be as present in your life as you want, as well as, as what we do here, um, being Jedi and, and the Jediism. You can take as much of it as you want. You can, you can practice as much as you want. You can, you can, you can, it, it, that is your liberty. So understanding that we do have liberties as Jedi, you have the liberty to reflect. I took my liberty to reflect and it took me to a different place dynamically in my life. It took me dynamically differently spiritually. It took me dynamically um, differently in my family, as far as my circle and where I used to be in my circle, now I'm in a different position to be a better support for a lot of people now. The guy who used to beat people up and be a bully now bullies something differently. You understand? I don't bully people no more. You know, I, I, I try to, to aid and try to, to, to give and try to be a, as much a support as possible. So the way I reflect is I found my Yodas. I found my inspirations. I found those people who care and I gave them extra time and effort. I, 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 there's a benefit to giving certain things in our lives and our paths, time and effort. Reflection is one of those. Take the time to reflect because it, it helps validate a lot of things that we just don't know or that we don't have time to understand quite yet. Just take the time to give it the opportunity. I reflect because I was born automatic as everyone else was, okay? I was born and I wasn't told what was right or wrong. I wasn't told what was proper, what was not proper. I was told that um, the, the, the stronger I was, the more in charge I was, and the more in charge I was, the more people would listen. And that that just wasn't healthy growing up where I was at. And it, it didn't create good things for me growing up. It, it didn't help me to understand anything. <laughs> it caused so much conflict. Now growing up, now being able to reflect, I found different places in my path where I can adjust and I can find out like, for instance, um, my zeal, when I get excited, it's like a fire. It's like a red lightsaber. I use the red lightsaber as, as my, as my go-to, but it's a reminder that I am volatile. I, and it, it, everyone is with our own anger. Vader is the picture is the, is the, is the representation is, is the, is the, is the mask that we all wear because we're, we're hiding who we are on the inside it needs some time and some effort. It needs, it needs love nurturing. It needs um, time. So the, these, these things that we do as, as, as Jedi, uh, Star Wars and the worlds that, that we, uh, that we frequent, we are Jedi and we are Luke like, we are Vader-like, we are Ray and Finn-like, but we are not these, these pictures just as well as I am not Maui, but I can be Maui-like, just like some people are not Christ, but they are very Christ-like. Some people take the heart of their deity with them everywhere they go, and it's amazing. Human potential is amazing. So if I may, this is one of the ways that I reflect and I have reflected, and it helped to change my perspective to a point where 
it's obvious. It's obvious that there is more understanding and it's obvious that there are more, there was time and effort in, involved. So I wanna encourage everyone to reflect, to take time to reflect. Self-reflection is the best. We have pictures of the cave in, in, in the Star Wars, how you have to go into the cave by yourself. You have to reflect. You will reflect on your own. Find out, will you go to the extreme? Is it you? Are you the bad guy? Are you the good guy? Who's on your team? I mean, what's going on? You come out of the cave and you figure it out. You make your choice or you don't. Or you keep trying to push the keep trying to push up and up. And it it's up to you. It's up to us each and every time. You either change the way you're doing things or you keep fighting the same fights. So it is my hope that as time goes on and we continue to share what we share um this i let you in on a little piece of my past and i'm working on it i'm very much working on every relationship in my past and that it's a big thing for me because i've i've never taken the time to give anybody the ability to 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 do that so um that in itself has changed the dynamic of relationships in themselves so I know it's a lot because reflection is a lot and a lot can happen and a lot does happen. So I want to encourage everybody to take the time to say yes, to do it. So just don't tell anybody, just do it. I promise I won't, your secret's safe with me. I won't tell anybody that you're reflecting. I promise. So give me about another minute to close out here and I'll open it up for questions. Um, I'm still yours for an hour and I'm, I'm still willing to be, uh, as, as vulnerable as I possibly can. You can ask me direct questions about anything you like. This session is called how I reflect. Feel free. I'm open for about another 15, 20 minutes. All right. Boom. Can we talk now? Oh, Carlos, let me just tell you, this was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me. I hope it helps because these are kinds of things that happen on the inside. You know what I mean? And it's it's hard to say on the outside what happens on the inside because that makes us vulnerable. And, and it's just, I'm not forgetting hurt all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I appreciate the, the space that we, that we create to be able to do this and the trust, you know, it, it's, 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 it's amazing that we get to take this time. So if if anyone wants to take time to shoot, shoot, I'm here. Anybody have any questions? Zero, what are you doing? Speak now or forever hold your pizza. I'm whistling the Jeopardy theme. I was just going to say that I was um, really proud of the story. It's always, you know, for me, uh, warming to hear that somebody's recovered from such a terrible past and they're so positive about where they're going in the future, you know. Um, I feel like for me, I, I was a little bit of the opposite where I started in a positive environment and I kind of walked into a negative world and that I sort of had the, you know, in the way the inverted, which caused internalized anger towards the, the world that I was, you know, I didn't think existed. So I think that that is, you know, either way, it's, it's something to, to be recognized when you can reflect and, and say that, you know, you aren't your past, you are who you choose to be, you know? So yeah, I was really proud of you for sure. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. We, we, as human beings, we, we get to do that. We get to do that every day. We get to wake up in the mornings and, and, and claim the day, you know, and, and it's, it being a Jedi is a wonderful thing. I'll tell you that much. The best people I know are Jedi. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't like any of my family as much as I like some Jedi. <laughs> I trust more Jedi than I do my own family. That's funny. But it, the, the idea is of, of the development is human development is just to keep going you know once i want just 
learn something else, try something else. You know, eventually we figure it out. Eventually you, you can't keep two people from sharing. And like I said earlier, you, you can lock people up in cages and separate them and they'll still find a way to talk. We as human beings will still find a way to share one way or another, whether it's a myth or a story or a joke or whether it's just a sound or a song, we'll, we'll figure it out. Human beings are amazing. I'm gonna start singing if y'all don't have any questions. Do it. Nothing I say except you're welcome. I know that. <laughs> I love Moana. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Is it okay to end the recording? Yeah, you're good. Thank you everybody for coming. Thank you for giving me time.